Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been so long since I did a sit down get ready with me and I missed it. Like I've done like small get ready with me kind of videos as part of my vlogs like you know two three minute like quick things but I haven't like sat and properly done a get ready with me and today is an exciting day because I'm going for a movie premiere I'm going for the premiere of Chamkila and the theme of the red carpet is actually very fun it's like vintage red carpet so 60s 70s 80s style theme and so I'm very excited for today's get ready with me because we're gonna do a little vintage look. I also asked you guys on my broadcast channel to send in some questions so we can also just chat while we get ready. If you haven't joined my Instagram broadcast channel yet, go join it. It's called Gupshup with Kashup. I was really proud of myself when I came up with that name. Anyway, let's begin. I am very excited to do a vintage look. I'll show you what my references are right now. I have a few Pinterest references. I kind of want to do this kind of hair you know like straight with slightly curled out at the bottom or slightly like curled in at the bottom and then I'm gonna try to do this little side part thing as well and for makeup I kind of want to do like a nice winged look kind of vibe you know maybe something like that I don't know if I have the skills to pull that off but we're gonna try I am starting with my moisturizer I'm using the simple hydrating gel cream which is what I use before my makeup every time but today because it's I'm doing foundation and it's a heavier look I'm also also mixing it in with this um, propolis light cream I don't really use primer maybe I should if you guys have a recommendation for a good primer drop it down in the comments below now I'm using my current favorite foundation it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter I really like this foundation a lot because like I said I don't really like heavy foundations and this one is like really light and it blends in so easy and it makes it look like you literally just have skin but like really good skin let's also get into some of the questions someone said which movie premiere I'm going for like I said I'm going for the premiere of Chumkila it's out on Netflix tomorrow which is very exciting the movie is by Imtiaz Ali who is also my best friend Ida's dad and fun fact actually Ida and I are so close like we grew up like sisters I've known her for 20 plus years we grew up like sisters so she calls my dad Papa and I call her dad Dada but we call each other's moms Preeti auntie and Arti auntie. So I don't know why it only stuck with the dads, but yeah, it's Dada's new movie. My mom has also edited the movie, which is very exciting. Foundation has blended in. Just look at how good the skin looks. Now for blush, I'm using this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer blush. I really like this one. When it's like daytime makeup, I'll use a cream blush, but when it's like a more glam look I guess I like using like liquid blush like the rare beauty one I love but I'm out of that this is also a really good one someone also asked me what's my current new lip gloss find that I love I go through phases with lip glosses like I'll find a lip gloss that I love and then only use that for like years literally and currently it's the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb heat so we all love the gloss bomb but this one actually has like lip plumping ingredients I guess that help you plump your lips as well so it makes it look like you have fillers and it makes it look really good someone said is it going to be a destination wedding no my wedding with Shane is not gonna be a destination wedding it's gonna be in Mumbai we were originally planning to do a destination wedding but then we started planning one actually and then realize how much like how much of a logistical nightmare it is and I don't think any of us had the patience to want to deal with that so we ended up just switching it to Bombay but yeah I'm actually really happy that it's in Bombay because this is my home it'll be fun it's also convenient with like like actually getting time I feel like in destination weddings because it's all about weddings you just like don't have any time to breathe I feel versus if I'm in Bombay I feel like I'll get at least a little bit even if it's like the most minuscule amount of time to myself, at least that will happen. Now I'm using this Fenty Beauty bronzer stick in the shade Mocha. I don't like being the center of attention a lot. Like one of the things I'm dreading the most about my wedding is like having to be the center of attention. I'm a very socially anxious person and the idea of like so many people around me constantly giving me attention makes me so anxious and if it was a destination wedding then I would constantly be around people giving me attention which I don't want versus in Bombay 
that won't be the case. Someone said, how did you convince Shane to move to in? By the way, now I'm using this bronzer. I'm going on top of the contour with the bronzer. This is from K-Beauty. Anyway, to answer your question, I didn't really have to convince Shane to move to India. We were both kind of like frustrated with the long distance. Shane also lived in a bunch of other countries um, before we met. Like he lived in Bali for a bit. He lived in Finland for a bit and things like that. So like he is used to living in other countries and he loved India a lot when he visited so many times so he was like all for it it really didn't take any convincing now I'm moving on to my eyes which is the scariest part for me because I don't I've never done like a graphic liner I always just do basic eyeliner and this is technically a graphic liner and I don't know if that's gonna be easy to recreate or not oh my god you know what I should have done I should have done my eyes first and then my foundation so if I needed to clean it it wouldn't mess up the rest of my makeup oh well Okay, let's try. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with the wing. I went for a longer wing just because it's... I think that means it's more vintage. I don't know. Okay, I tried to do this bottom line thing. It did not work. So I think I'm just gonna scrap that idea because I don't have the time to risk it. I also realized I forgot to put on concealer. I don't know what's going on with my head today. So let's just quickly put on concealer. I'm using the Huda Beauty Four Filter Concealer. I'm so scared. I feel like I don't, I'm like running out of time. I still need to do my hair and I need to leave in not that, I don't have like that much time before I need to leave. So since I'm scrapping the line below my eyeliner idea, I think what I'm gonna do instead is just do my usual classic like eyeliner with a little bit of kajal. Hopefully it should turn out okay. Okay, the eyes are done. I feel like this is vintage enough. Now I'm just gonna finish off the eyes with my Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. And now finally for lips. I'm using this Bobbi Brown Nude Lip Pencil and I'm just gonna line my lips and then fill it in with my MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick. Okay, my makeup is officially done. I feel like it's vintage enough. I'm happy with how it turned out. Now I'm gonna do my hair. Then we pick outfit. I have this like vintage looking skirt. It's a long skirt, it's black and it has these like vintagey looking red roses so i think i'm gonna do this long skirt okay the skirt is on i like it goes with the red hairband i might do this black sweater to go with it the sweater is on now i'm just doing jewelry i have this one necklace that has a black pendant this is the necklace it is from shop weekend lane and i'm gonna do these little hoops that have a little black in them too they're like golden black okay the jewelry is on and this is my final look i feel like it's quite vintage and i actually am really happy with it i have to get going now i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me vintage movie premiere edition if you did make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you next time